Hi everyone. Um, how how do you do this afternoon? Everyone is still a little sleepy from lunch, I guess. And uh, indeed, São Paulo is really great with food. And I'm from Rio de Janeiro, so I, I'm really impressed. And uh, first, I want to talk a little bit about me. I'm from Rio de Janeiro. My name is Carlos, Carlos Eduardo. Some friends call me Cadu. And uh, I wor I'm a web developer for some, uh, quite some time now. And nowadays, I work at Stone Payments. And that infrastructure developer, it was the best name that I found to describe what I do today. Because I do code, I do infrastructure, and uh, I build things, build uh, services for infrastructure. And I didn't want to use uh, DevOps engineer because DevOps is a, a job role, it's a culture. So that's what came, uh, what I'm describing myself today. On my spare time, I like to play drums. And then I play drums for two bands, two heavy metal bands. And if you want to reach out to me to talk about, to ask something about my, my talk, you can use my Twitter, my Telegram. You, you'll find me faster on my Telegram or my emails. And uh, OK, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm graduating on computer science on UFRJ. And I worked there uh, for a long time. But I'm not here to talk about me. I'm here to talk about this little guy, which is Telegram, and this awesome guy. And is there anyone here that never heard of Telegram? No, okay, nice. And uh, I guess everyone that works with technology have some time heard, heard about Telegram, right? Because it's a great messenger, and uh, uh, it was created on 2013 by these two Russian brothers, and they, they tried to create a messenger that was not just a messenger, was something else. And uh, they soon moved to Germany and headquarters, their headquarters, no one actually knows where in Germany it is. And there is a little bit of, of speculation of about where where is it, and about where the money comes from because no one earns anything with Telegram and the services there running, rocking, and rolling. So, and one great thing is that it's almost completely open source. There's only a, a little bit tips of code that are not open source, but. Every time they do a release, they try to make it up source. So that's really great. And one thing that uh, is actually going on today here in Brazil, at least, is this kind of fight. Because WhatsApp came, uh, came before Telegram and, re and get, got here in Brazil before Telegram. And, uh, WhatsApp today is not an app for people who work with technology. People who work with technology like Telegram because there are features that you see, hey, this feature was, was made for thinking about me. Because we, we like to use bots, right? We like to, to develop something. We like to create bots. We like to interact with bots. Maybe if the bots are not very well developed, develop it, we, are, we will not like to interact with that bot. But uh, we like that, and WhatsApp is for the more general purpose uh, kind of app, and the, the more general kind of people, aside from technology. And I brought something, just a, a little comparative. And first thing, there's an error on the free part, because WhatsApp was not free. You had to pay a little amount of money once a year. but after Facebook bought it, they shut it down. And another things that are cool, uh, it's open, Telegram is open source, and WhatsApp, as far as I know, is not. Uh, one, the greatest thing that, that, I, that I think about Telegram is that it exposes an API for the developer. So if you want to develop something using 
uh, Telegram sh and doesn't does not have to be a bot. The most famous is the bot is bot feature, but Telegram has an API, and uh, everything that you post on on Telegram, if you post pictures, videos, messages, everything's on the cloud. So you almost never lose anything. And WhatsApp is not that, uh, it's not like that because if you send some picture to someone, that people, that person will get the picture, but if you delete the picture from your, from your cell phone or from your device, uh, the, the, the picture is gone. You, the other person or the other person have to have the picture. Uh, WhatsApp servers does not keep pictures or stuff like that. And with Telegram, you, could, you can create super groups that have a, a huge amount of, of users. And uh, WhatsApp is, is, is a little bit limited on that. And another cool thing, it's you can search for GIFs in line from what from Telegram. And I'm going to show a little screenshot about that. And one of the greatest things about Telegram is the stickers, right? Everybody loves the stickers. Everybody loves to create stickers and create stickers with pictures of your friends. So that's another great thing that you don't have in WhatsApp. And VoIP, uh, video calls. Uh, Bo uh, Telegram has a desktop client, so that's pretty cool. You can use Telegram from your desktop. You can use Telegram from your mobile device, your, or you can use Telegram from your uh, browser, that's awesome. And one of the awesome things about that is that Telegram, all, the, all, this device, all those devices are independent. They don't rely on each other to work. And if you all, 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 the only thing that they do is to synchronize with the server. So that's cool because if my phone is down, if I don't have connectivity on my phone, or if my phone is out of charge, I can use uh, other other clients from from Telegram to to talk about to talk with, with someone, which is not the same thing on WhatsApp because if my phone's down, I don't have I don't have the possibility to use the web web the web version, and uh, WhatsApp does not have a desktop client, so that's that. And one of the things that makes Telegram so uh, popular is that it came first, right? So it reached the market first, way before uh, Telegram. So, okay, we are here to talk about bots, and Telegram exposes that uh, API to create bots, and the uh, the the way to create a bot. First thing you have to do is talk up, start with bot father. That's that guy. That's Botfather. If you, if you search for Botfather on Telegram, you'll find uh, a bot that will talk to you and create your bot. What this bot does, does for you? After, you, after answering some questions and deciding what's the name of the bot, of the user, what's the new username, it will give you a token. And with that token, you have, you have the possibility to talk with uh, to use the, the API, the, bot, the Telegram API. So only thing you have to do is get your token, place on that URL, and use some methods, right? And if you want to send a message to someone, you just have to, to of course, you're gonna have to, you're gonna need the, the ID from the conversation that where you want to send a message, and, and you want to use that token to, to do it. Why? Because Telegram gives the opportunity to you don't write any piece of code and you are using a Telegram bot. If I do that, I didn't write any piece of code. There's no bot of my running. There's no code of my running, but you still can send messages. And one time, uh, I, uh, my team wanted to troll some, some of, of our team players teammates and every time he entered a machine we set up on his bash rc to send a message to a bot and uh, we put this bot on our group and every time this uh, a person uh, entered a, a machine of ours it will send a message we didn't develop any piece of code of 
to uh, about Telegram. We didn't develop nothing. Only using the API, we were able to send messages. It, that's one, one of the greatest things, because gives the non-developer person the opportunity to create some kind of great things. And uh, okay, so there are two types, two main types of bots, and the first main type, the commons bot. The commons bot is the type is the type of bot that you have to send a, a command predefined by the bot, so the bot has to know what you are trying to do, and you, you will send a command, and the bot will do something. So uh, it's kind of standard and good practice uh, defined by Telegram that every bot has a start, a slash start, so that people can know how they will start talking about uh, with that bot. So this is one of most famous uh, bots. If you send a start, you will return it how to to talk, how to interact with the bot. So if you send a get, you you reply to you with, with an image. Pretty pretty easy, pretty standard, simple. Uh, another cool bot, if you are on a group uh, with your friends and you want to decide where we are going to have a drink later, and if you want, anyone wants to go have a drink later, call me because Sao Paulo. And uh, no, uh, someone uh, gives an, uh, an option, other people gives an, another option, but you don't, don't know how to decide. Create a pool. And and it's kind it's pretty easy uh, the only thing bad about this bot is this specific bot which is one of the famous one of the most famous bots of pools on the on the downside is that is a lot is very verbose so it's, it applies a lot of messages and to to create a, a simple pool of, with two uh, uh, options it's, it creates a lot of messages it, that's kind of bad because you are you are going to open the the group and there's 30 messages there and you're going to see what's what's going on and someone try to 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 work with that bot and there's other pool bots less famous that correct that problem but uh another kind of bot is the inline bot what's that you don't have to send a comment to the bot you will only have to to get the username of the bot and send in, in start to type a message by starting to type a message the client that run that's running telegram will get this message and send to telegram which will send to to the bot which will process and do something what's something uh, most common bots uh, uh, that do that return a list of things that to be done to to be chosen by the user in this case uh, the at gif returns a list of gifs that it it sorted it sorted from that side giphy it goes there place your your search there and returns the results and the, and then you can choose which gif you are going to to send to the group or the person this kind of bot is great because you don't have to to add the bot to the group and most of bots you have to add it to a group to, to so so you can use this kind of bot you don't have to to add to any any kind of group you don't have to create a group to use a bot with someone with the only person and it's great because you can use it for anywhere so the other example is the at week which will go to wikipedia and get uh, documents that has the same name of your search and return to you and the, the uh, at feed which will go to YouTube so it's pretty simple it's pretty awesome and developing the, those bots actually is very simple because today we have a lot of frameworks that uh, make this thing of talking to the API to telegram API easy so we have Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, frameworks to you to create your bot in the most various kinds of languages like Python, C sharp, uh, Ruby, uh, JavaScript, Java, and which really great. So, 
if you want to create your bot with Python, which is our main goal in this, this talk. First, one of the first uh, frameworks that are used, and you don't have to, to care about trying to, to get this, these URLs. I'm going to say the presentation. And it's Telepot. Telepot is a pretty simple, a pretty powerful uh, framework. And a little bit verbo uh, verbose, but it's really simple. And Python Telegram Bot is another framework which is incredibly simple. And uh, Python Telegram Bot and Botogram are very much alike. You can create a bot with, uh, with just a few lines. Today I'm going to use for our demo uh, the Telebot, Telepot framework because I want to show people how to show you guys how how can you do a telepot not not having much much of magic going on and you don't know what's going on so uh, the third uh, example is is a github page that teaches you how to create a simple bot and, and it's pretty simple pretty it's not does not have have many features but it goes through everything starting create your bot using the code from this guy, Yukuku. You're going to start to create your bot. You're going to test it. It's, it's going to show how to test you, how, how you can test. And then it's going to show how you can post, you can uh, deploy it on Google, uh, on Google. So it's pretty good and it's pretty simple. One of, uh, actually was the first uh, resource that I used to, try to start developing Telegram bots. And it's pretty good. And uh, if you want to learn something else, you can use these two, these two first links. The second link is one of the greatest that I found because it's not only focused on Telegram bots. It's focused on bots in general. So you ha you're going to have resources about Telegram bots, about Messenger bots, about bots in general, about uh, how to create anything that automates something else. And it's really good source of uh, information. And these three awesome pages following the, this wave of awesome pages that's going on on GitHub were created by these three guys. And they have a very great amount of uh, information and about how to create Telegram bots on various, various languages, how to, to deploy it on various sources, and the last one is the uh, documentation of the API in how to create bots, official documentation, actually. So let's pray to the demo gods. And uh, I'm actually having some problems with connectivity, so I kind of cheating here. hope you can see. And uh, this is actually our bot. And first thing, you're going to import Telebot. That's, that's just a standard. You're going to start with pip. And another thing here, I get the token, which is pretty standard. And uh, another thing I, I, I think you can see, I hope you can see. And the next thing, I create a bot using Telebot. And uh, which is great because I'm creating a bot to the point and then I'm creating a message loop. And so that I can show you how, how it's not that simple and how mo much frameworks encapsulate those kind of magic. I'm creating a, a simple loop there that's going to live there forever. Just so that I can show you guys that uh, most of uh, frameworks in this case will be Python Telegram bot and Botogram, they encapsulate this, this logic. And so maybe you don't want to create a, a loop. And this, this kind of bot, the, this kind of frameworks, the standard at, is that you create a loop. On Telegram, or Telepot is different. So what I'm doing, I'm creating a, a loop and I'm, I'm giving bot and a function that will be run when I interact with the bot. So, on that function, I define 
my comments and and I finally they start start to is list uh, send a, uh, just a reply for a message the help I sent what you can do and there are others uh, uh, comments which will be added to do and this case uh, we, we are creating a, a simple to do list is adding a to do uh, make a to do being done and listing everything so let me try to show how this bot work it and actually i really hope you can see it but the first thing i send a help and will, will send me all the things that I can do with my bot. And next thing, I will send to do something and we will add this to do on my bot. I will list, okay, listing. Then I will send this some, something else. And uh, then I'm actually say, saying, okay, I'm done something. Marker is as done. Can't, you can see? Uh, I guess I can't uh, make it greater, make it bigger. So Actually, I kind of screw myself because I lost connectivity in France. Won't, won't load. I'm sorry about that. Uh, just give me one minute. Okay, found something. It's good, good. So this is just a screenshot that I save it for this kind of uh, thing uh, of problem. So the, what does that bot does? I'm going to send a start. We reply me to, with a message that I previously uh, set up. Then a help will give me all the comments. And these two first uh, comments is kind of pretty standard and we, is the recommendation from Telegram. Every time you create a bot, use the uh, slash start so that people can know how to, to first interact with your bot. And all the devices, all the uh, devices being mobile devices, web, web applications, and uh, desktop, Telegram, that will interact with your bot. If you never talked with that bot, there is a button. Actually, there's a, uh, actually a button that you send to your to your bot a uh, slash start. So it's a good practice that you send that you set up a slash start for your bot, and I, and a slash help because everybody needs help. So uh, listening my comments, sending something to be done, and. And it will reply me to me that it's something being uh, is safe, save it. And if I want to list, will show me. And something else, just showing that it's uh, enlisting everything. And if I want to say that I'm done with it, with something, send done and list, and that's it. So it's just a simple bot that you, cr you can create very fastly, very easily. And that's one of, the, one of the greatest things about Telegram because it gives you the power to create simple bots uh, in a very short amount of time and very easily. So uh, it's very, really good so you can actually try to win people from the, uh, outside from technology to, earn, to learn some uh, language by doing this because it's, it's fun. 
it's fun that you can create some program that will run someone, somewhere else, and people can interact with, with it and, and see the magic happening. So people outside from technology can actually rely on this to learn some, some language and learn Python, which, which is great. So let's get back to our presentation here. Okay, uh, this bot is on my GitHub, so you can go there and get the code if you want to to look at it. And so you create your bot. Where I'm going to deploy it? Am I going to run my bot from my machine? I guess that answer uh, that, that question shouldn't be asked, right? Uh, we are not. We are not going to run your bot from your machine unless it's a, it's a very specific thing. So. Uh, you can deploy it on on Amazon, which is really simple. And you, on Reroku, is actually extremely simple. And Google Cloud has a great tutorial about that. And I'm see, I've seen some people deploying it on Azure, which is actually very great. Python anywhere. Uh, and uh, until the beginning of the year, you you couldn't deploy your bot on Python anywhere for because of some crazy bug of theirs you couldn't deploy and they got working on it and they actually solved it so you can use Python and to deploy your Python Telegram bot uh, for free and make people use it and this great documentation from the framework Python Telegram bots gives you all the source that you need to create your bot and deploy it on all those 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 hosts. So that's all for now and thank you very much.